Hey there and uh, welcome back to the literature club and last episode something happened something very messed up happened and if you don't know what happened then you probably didn't watch the first few episodes how dare you how dare you come to the number whatever episode is without watching the first few episodes that's disgraceful anyway there'll be an icon up at the top of the playlist so I'm gonna give you five seconds if you haven't watched the playthrough and then I'm gonna get into the spoilers I assume if you're still here then you probably watched all the episodes which you should so anyway let's get into the spoiler theory Sayori is dead when Monica said you really left her hanging there she was not kidding that was kind of suspect of Monica Anyway, Sayori's dead, we got glitched Monica now. <laughs> and let's get back into to a new game. I see an annoying girl running towards me in the distance. Oh, it's the same thing. It's her name is she, we, we were friends now. Now she uh, and and, she, and she's glitched. Oh, never mind. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usual. The mornings are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone, and Sayori doesn't exist anymore. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on average while spending on my free time on games and anime. There's an anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is ordinary as usual and I didn't even notice that I was at school. So I pack up my things, I stay blanking into the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori. Well, not Sayori doesn't want me. I don't know why I said her name. She's not real anymore. They really aren't any that, that interest me. Besides, most of them will probably be way too demanding for me what to, do, to, what to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Thorny? And somehow Monica just glitched into existence. Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect you to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly and tilts to the left as usual. We do know each other, but we rarely talked to we re but we rarely talked, but we were in the same class just last year. She's popular, athletic, basically out of my league, as we said before. So having a smile at me feels a little weird. What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies for to use for my club. Do you know where the you know if there's any construction paper in here or markers? I guess you could check in the closet. You in the debate club, right? Uh, about that, I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, it's the same shit, same shit, same shit. Yeah, yeah. If you wanna make something new and fun, like a little teacher in that place, what club did you decide to join? I, and I fucked up the whole sentence. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm starting a new one, a literature club. And the game glitched. Not sure if that was the game or if I really, if my PC can't actually handle this game. I mean, laptop. That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that, but it's really not boring at all, you know. The teacher can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members keeps a manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? I think she's talking about Natsuki, but we don't know her yet. Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is a teacher too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica just say she? Hmm. Hey Thorny. By any chance, would you are you still looking for a club to join? Uh I mean I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you can do me a big favor? I wouldn't ask you to join, but if you could at least visit the club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um well I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, I could never refuse someone like Monica. Uh sure, I guess I'll check it out. <laughs> awesome. You're really sweet, Tony, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for materials another time. You're more important. Did, was she ever looking for materials in the first place or was she just trying to get me into a club? Probably the second one. 
and thus the day marks the day. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and an irresistible smile. To be honest, I wouldn't sell myself for that. I'll still sell myself for the cupcake, not for a smile, you. I tell for the Monica across the room, upstairs, yeah, we go to the same guy and she swings it open. I'm back! And I brought the guest with me. And the game is glitching again. Eh? A guest? Seriously? But why did it glitch when Yuri showed up and not Natsuki? Seriously, you bought the boy? We to say the same thing over again. Don't be me, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Thorny. Uh, yeah, uh, what's this escape my situation club is full of pretty girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? Mm-mm. No. No, I'm not. Natsuki? Go with us how I had to do. So apparently, her name is Natsuki. It's the one I don't recognize. She's small and she probably first year. Anyway, Natsuki is energetic as well. And Yuri is the vice president now. Shocking. And I say president wrong. I say president. Yuri appears more comfortable and it's nice to meet both of you. So, what anyway? I need to stop talking so fast. I'm ruining everything. <laughs> so, I ran into Tony in the classroom and he decided to check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica? Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Tony? The girls made a disc in the table, Yuri walks to get the tea, uh, and Natsuki are sitting across from each other. Feeling awkward, I sit next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan to come here, plan on coming here, but we'll make you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make my, make the club fun and exciting for everyone. And it's the same shit, same shit, same shit, you can put it away, many people are interested, especially with into some of the potential like literature, you have to work on convincing people with the world file, that makes school events as a more important, I'm comfortable with the club in the school before we graduate, yeah, the same thing, right, Natsuki, yeah, well, yeah, yeah I guess, and then Natsuki, they like tell you agrees, such different goals, all interest. Monica really wants to walk around to find these two But Yuri returns to the table, killing a tea says so carefully She put the tea cup in the table and you can both tea sit in the club room The body teacher gave us permission after all that's nice up a good tea Yeah, I guess uh, don't get yourself the minute she's done, you press you uh, that, That's not true, it's kind of true Yuri until looks away, she said I mean that you know and we say the same thing She felt so unhappy, so what do I like to say? Well, uh, I, don't, I don't need And then Monica uh, I mean asking <laughs> This episode is just me rambling because we've gone through this. And if you want to know what she is saying, you should check out the first episode if you haven't. Likes that stuff, but you know, like a lot of things, sorry, but the psychological elements usually emerge me as well. It's amazing how to take and really take advantage of your own like ima every imagination to completely throw you off a loop like in this game. I didn't think I read that line in the beginning. Okay, anyway, she said, well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding new activity finding activities for all of us to do to put it for us to participate in together I decided to take on the responsibility of vice president after all and I need to do my best to mature the club and nurture the club and as well as its members besides now that we got a new member it seems like a good step for us to take don't you agree with Tony hold on there's still one problem I didn't say I would join the club and yeah they all get sad and I get somehow manipulated into joining the club uh, the girls are looking sad at me. I guess I need to tell you the truth. She didn't say that before. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been uh, trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival, I'm defenseless against these girls. I'm not supposed to make a clear the decision. Besides, I just want to spend time with one of you, Salis. Right, I've decided then. I was in the literature club. They all light up and they're like, Yeah, you did it. You, you're joining us. Yay. We can now finally end on a good note now. Thank you so much. You're really amazing. Thank you, Monica. I'll do everything to give you a great time, okay? Oh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone, we're going to end it there. Thank you for coming. Tomorrow we have to do poems. Yeah, don't look at me like that. Anyway, I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then.
I can't wait. With that part, I make the classroom. The whole way I was wondering between these three girls, they're all kind of cute, but I want to spend time with one of them because I have to. I just need to make a poem. Let's go. It's poem time. Would you like to unlock a special poem? I mean, a joke. A man walked into the club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together and she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. The contradiction used caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Hold on! This is a Yuri. A man walked into the club, that's me. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. I saw Yuri liked me. She said it in the beginning. In the be I mean, she said it before she they spent time together and she liked him even more yeah we did spend time together and then she told me that she loved me and before this also could happen someone intervened with her programming that's monica i think they're talking about monica Did someone intervened with her programming there's a lot to extract from this poem and i probably spoiled <laughs> the big twist anyway now there's only two people I think this time I'm gonna spend time with Natsuki because we don't really know much about her. We know a lot about Yuri. She has no friends. She like she enjoys reading. She finds her comfort in reading and she got big boobas. But I say boobas, I should say boobs. She got big boobs. But we don't really know much about Natsuki. We know she likes manga and she's a sundere, but maybe we should spend time with Natsuki more. Uh let's just pick some cute sounding words excitement and skip 15 words later did you enjoy the time lapse i mean did you enjoy the time chord why does say time lapse Hi again, Tony. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. Don't worry. Might be strange, but well, I'm back in the Lattice Cup. And Monica's, I mean, Yuri's face just did all. Great to see you. I know it's overwhelming of commitment. And you, you, Natsuki just, is the background moving or is it just my eyes? My bad eyesight. Monica! I can't read because of you. At least we know what this is. You guys can see like the background is it's kind of skewed, right? Eh? And the background's normal. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Fucking Monica! She never puts anything back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection in a organi organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki says a bunch of scattered of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You did manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't really admit you re you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I uh, heard Monica bring it up. Heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a long volume of manga at Mr. Stacks of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it, pull it out of the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the wrist. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one of book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I get closer to look at the box she said she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. <laughs> if you're gonna judge, you can do it through a clip, the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I tell you one thing, Thorny. Consider a listen. Don't you book? I assume that's how she said it. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Four Fagals from the box. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh I stare at the cover. It features four girls in a colorful 
attire, striking anime, animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Or oh, mo. I think that's how you pronounce it. It sounds so posh when I say moe. Don't just stand there. Uh? Natsuki grabs my arms and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't really read the same time at the same time like that. Huh? Why is that? I guess it's easier to be close together like this. D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. As he crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect it to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing, open the book. It's only a few seconds before Nasuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space she, while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, such more, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm, you don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Uh, not really. Maybe sometimes after I finish the series, Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing really happened yet. So we can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. A typically a typical slice of life affair. Uh, I kind of grew out of this since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make a, up for the lack of plot. Are you sure it isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read, well, I'm fine with that. If you say so, I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince one of any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Uh, hmm. You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Did you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez, uh, sorry. <laughs> I could ever get my friends to read this. I just think manga is for kids. Can't even bring it up, it up without them being all like, Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? It makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find, find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder to find someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I couldn't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if I found this. Jeez. At least it's safe here in the club room. Uh, except Monica is kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like it solves any of my problems. Maybe, but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, so? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. And the screen is black. Time passes. Nasuki's strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki! Yeah? I see suddenly collapse straight into me. Hey! Natsuki, you okay? Do you want me to like get you a... Uh, to call the nurse or something? I don't even know what you're saying. Oh jeez. Natsuki, you okay? Here, Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give her- She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Thorny. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why do we all share poems now? So, Natsuki... I assume Natsuki doesn't eat well at home. Uh... The story's getting dark. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair that I shared mine with her first. Okay, well let's start with the things I don't like. 
First of all, um, she reads my poem. Never mind. So there isn't anything you don't like, which means you actually like the poem, which is good because I actually wrote it for you. N never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Oh, what's that point? What's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things, like playing games and eating something. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said, Ugh. Well, it would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was bad. You're supposed to show me how dumb po- Show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ah, it's not great, but let me show you- Show you what real literature look like, looks like. But now you ruined it. I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying that you liked it? Uh, Natsuki's retort gets caught in her own voice. Ugh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or lo a loss situation that you liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Ah, uh, fine I guess. Only because Monica will make me will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, it's the same poem. Kind of good. Good message behind it. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. She never said that actually. I like it. What? Just be honest, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? It's still not the same speech. Uh, let's pick Yuri this time. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. I'm gonna pass us more time enough to, for to finish reading. Uh, oh, sorry. I forgot to, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah, what do you ask? I'm just making sure I guess that... Um, it might be after reading it though, so is that bad? No, I did I just raise my voice. Uh, sorry, you the bad is a face in it. It's the same, it's kind of the same stuff. You saw what we said. I mean, you know what we said. If you didn't, you should have watched the first videos. I mean, first episodes. You can still. The icon's still there. If you want to watch them, you can watch them. And let's talk to Monica this time. Hi, Thorny. Having a good time so far? Yeah, good to get it here. If there's new anything you wanted to, and I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. You're not gonna force me, Monica. Uh, hand Monica my palm. Hmm, I like it, Thorny. Really? It's lot cuter than I expected. She didn't say that before. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, no, no. Uh, it's kind of. It kind of makes me think something like Natsuki would write, and she's a good writer too. So I take so take it as a compliment. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so, yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave any food. Wait, what? Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's up, she's in a fussy mood pretty often. Oh. Wait, how does Monica know this? Did like Natsuki told her or did she just spy on her or something? But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she saw small because I'm. Because of because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are just too some guys are into petite girls too, you know. That is true. Sorry, I just try to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want any map there, nothing was bright about that? Natsuki's pretty much starving and malnourished. She needs like a bucket of KFC or something. Hang on! This is different. Hole in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings, but my burned eyes are no 
can no longer see color oh this is like a sequel to hole in the wall like the hole in, first it was like how did the hole in the wall it wasn't but she found out it wasn't too but too big it was too big and she wasn't looking in she was looking out but and he was looking in but this time she finds out that he wasn't looking at me confused i frantically glanced at my surroundings by my burnt eyes because she said her eyes were burnt in the beginning in the first part one can no longer see the color are the others in this room are they talking or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper set up the sound of frantically scalping playing tricks on my ears the room begins to crinkle closing in on me the air i breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs i panic there must be another way out it's right there he's right there am i he was i the one looking in swallowing in my fears i brandish my pen Oh, that's interesting. Oh, so she didn't say that before. Taking your own insecurities out on others like that, you act as young as you look, not scared. Me? You're just talking like a wannabe edgy bitch. Edgy? Sorry, my lifestyle doesn't isn't too, is too much for you sometimes, of your mental age to comprehend. See? You're just trying to prove... Just saying that proves your point. Most people want to learn over... And the game is glitching out. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can just counterbalance your toxicity personality just by dressing up and acting cute? The only cute thing about this is you is how hard you try. Oh, be careful. You might cut yourself on the edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Did, did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. It's only uh, everything you really think about. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh -huh. Suddenly they all turn to me and the Tony. She, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How the fuck? I guess I have to choose again. Uh, There's no Sairi to help me this time. I choose Natsuki. No, I choose Yuri. I choose Natsuki. And I, I can't I can't choose any of them. And come on. Come on. That's a Monica, what are you doing here? Um uh, What you looking at? Um You're covering the You're covering the text again, Monica. God damn it, what's wrong with you? Um Hey Thorny Oh this time the text is like Make sure that it does go through her. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to better for us to stay out of it. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some prisoner that I am, right? I can't even comfort my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be more assertive sometimes. I guess this really shows how Sayuri kind of actually kind of kept everything calm, you know. It kind of sucks that she died. I know she's just a game character, but she really kept this club together. But I never have it in me to put my foot put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if it makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of do want to spend time with Monica. She's so... There's so much I don't know about her. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out the classroom. Oh, she's crying. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I wonder what she said. I might have to make a meme out of it. Then you know what clip to use. And if it doesn't exist, then make it exist. Alright, shut up. You shut That's up. That's why your shoes raggedy. That's why your mama dead. Dead as hell. What shoes she got on? What shoes she had on her casket? That's why your granny ain't got no knees. And she can't pray to Jesus, bitch. How about that? She can't double dutch. Yeah, my That's God. why your, your baby got yeah, a glass eye. And when she cry, you gotta clean it with Windex, bitch. I don't know why I did all that. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in the desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri, I, I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did... Thorny? Please don't hate me. Please. 
As I'm not like this, there's something wrong with me today. That's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it tomorrow. Completely. What? Anyway, the meeting is over. You can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you when you're done. Well, I'm vice president, so... Please, let me take the responsibil that responsibility today. It uh, kind of sounds like you don't want me around, or something like that, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get as much time to discuss my book with Tony. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really... I don't know if that was Monica or if that was the game, but they really just cut her off like that. <laughs> that was... They did a...